We might be unintentionally uh, DDoSing it right now. I'm trying to help get the message out. We gotta ban Ethan Klein. We actually have so much to talk about today. So many great things and sad things, as you guys can see. We're starting light, but I did lose brutally my lawsuit to mm. Ryan Kavanaugh, who yep. I am now- You're bankrupt, right? I'm in shambles. <laughs> Actually, there's truth to that. There is truth to that. We did lose a motion, and then Kav Kav uh, wrote some like insane puff, I, or I'm speculating that it was Kav Kav, because yeah, nobody else know. cares but him. We have reason to believe. Drive angry. That our boy. But the headline's awesome, dude. It's so good. He goes, Thank Ryan you. Kavanaugh wins slap motion. Ethan Klein loses with damages potentially in the millions. We'll get to that. Look Thank at this you. fucking guy, dude. Thank you. <laughs> you can almost hear Brad nailing his wife in the background. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. Almost no, I do know what you mean. Yeah. We love you, Kev. You're a good man. <laughs> in a parallel universe, you're a good man. Yeah, so we'll get to that, actually. I guess let me just talk about the Cav Cav thing right at the top, because people are going to be wondering. So, let's see. Let's read this article that Cav Cav put out. Yeah, did we ever cover the article that we are... First of all, when I say Cav Cav put out, let me just emphasize that I, this is all speculation. I don't know if Cav Cav was involved in uh, producing this article. I do know that the amount of people who would care about producing this article is about one. Mm -hmm. Thank you. So <laughs> you can you can make your own deductions from that. Did we ever talk about that one hit website? That was Oh, like, I don't think we actually did. It was like his response to- uh, Does to, Ryan Kavanaugh uh, look like Harvey Weinstein? Yeah. yeah. And, and again, speculation. Are you talking about Ethan should be banned or whatever? Oh, yeah, 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 That's yeah, yeah. actually cited in the article. Oh, oh no shit. way! Okay, good, good, good. Oh, 100%. <clears throat> All right, so here's what happened, okay. This is on the defamation case. This is the one where he's suing me for reading a Variety article. Right. Now, we filed an anti-slap, which is basically... Uh, means that you can't... It, when you are suing somebody for defaming a public figure, California has this mechanism called the anti-slap, which is to prevent people from suppressing free speech who are, you know, have the money and tools to litigate you into the ground. It's a great thing. We use it a lot because of the nature of how we get sued for shit and what I do. This time it was denied by the judge. The judge is a crusty old fuck with peace and love. Mm -hmm. He has, of all the anti-slaps, only ever admitted one in his whole career. The average in California is 90% success. Whoa. This crusty old fuck just has never granted an anti-slap only one time in his whole career. Huh. And so, um, but, but here's the thing. The, ant the loss on the anti-slap motion doesn't mean anything because I'll tell you this. It just means it goes back to the beginning. Right. But this is like just you're trying to get it dismissed on face. Or you're trying to get dismissed on just like, let's, this is bullshit. Like the, the Matt Haas one, we never went the anti-slap and we, we fought that bitch all the way through. So it's sending it back to that. But even before that, we're going to appeal this. We've already filed the paperwork to a higher court. Or to appeal the anti-slap? Yeah. Oh, so th that's not even over. No. You could still win this anti-slap. I think that we have There's like an extremely high huh. chance of winning the anti-slap because that judge is a, is a crusty old fuck, as I've noted. This is very confusing to me because I, I read this article and apparently <laughs> you've lost and you owe Ryan Kavanaugh several billion dollars. Good, that's I what it even, sounds like. I think like. a gajillion dollars. That's what it sounds like. Huh. A loser. Yeah. Uh, but do, do I believe you or do I believe very real person David, David well, Thomas 
David Tom Thomas, illustrious the, uh, author of Tech Times, the prestigious uh, Tech Times. Actually, I haven't read this yet, but I'm looking forward to it. But um, yeah, so what happens when we appeal is it goes to a higher court, the Court of Appeals, which is like a big deal, right? If he loses on this stage, it's going to be much worse for him. It's a much bigger deal Ooh. in terms of legal precedent. Interesting. And it goes before three judges, and these judges are going to know the rules on the law around anti-slap. This judge did not. And this is going to be, in my opinion, an easy dub on appeal, and it's going to actually be even worse for Kev Kev in that case. So it's far from over, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Angry. <clears throat> he should be scared that this is getting <clears throat> tossed up to a higher, a higher, uh, you know, higher court. One step closer to a televised trial. Uh, I'm no. still pulling for that's that. like a jury trial. That's that's. That ain't happening. That would be a dream. <laughs> Not I want you on dream. the stand. I want you on the <laughs> stand in shorts and slides. <laughs> yeah, that's in the probably, same yeah. in the same room as Ryan Kavanaugh. Drop that. Yeah. Well, well, Grumpy. the appeal is not even going to be. You the jury and you're like, dude, he look, Harvey Weinstein, right? Am I right? J J ladies and gentlemen, I'll <laughs> represent myself. Ladies and gentlemen of the courtroom, here's a picture of Harvey Weinstein. Oh wait, sorry, Ryan Kavanaugh. Oh wait, this is Ryan Kavanaugh. <laughs> Oh shit. That is. Brian Kavanaugh is a force of nature. On <laughs> sure is. Yeah, but actually, so the appeal isn't even going to be heard for like a year to a year and a half. So the oh, timeline wow. on this shit is like snail is moving at a snail speed, which is why I didn't even talk about it. It's not really a big deal. I'm not worried at all. I mean, as far as now, the only one who owes money is Ryan Kavanaugh owes me like over $60,000. And that one is done, done, done. They didn't even appeal it. They knew it was such a fucking loss in hell. <laughs> Get fucked. So, yeah, so let's read the article. Let's see what this puff, uh, this, this stink piece. Ryan Kavanaugh went slap motion. Ethan Klein loses with damages potentially in the millions. Yeah, the slap doesn't say anything about damages. It's just about if it can get thrown out on That's the That's what, t like, the second I saw this article, because it got <laughs> posted on the subreddit or something, just from the headline alone, I was like, what is this? Because, like, that that's not what that means at all. And then as not you read all. on, it becomes very clear what's going on here. Let's see. In, a ma in the matter of Kavanaugh versus Klein, wherein, why are you writing that? Why are you writing like that, bro? Wherein Ryan Kavanaugh has sued Ethan Klein and H3H3, uh, he's, like, doing uh, keyword stuffing. Yeah, that's... Yeah, we'll why get does to it, it but yes. <laughs> why does it lie? And his affiliates, what affiliates? What are oh, you even talking about? For what could be or many part. millions of dollars. Oh, could many. be. Many. A key motion was ruled in favor of Kavanaugh in L.A. Superior Court. Klein brought before the court what is referred to as anti-slap motion in... Cases like these are usually granted. That's my point, right? SLAP stands for Strategic Lawsuit Against Public Participation. California has one of the strongest anti-SLAP stances with over 90% being granted. Will Smith and again, the shit out of me. This, this crusty old fuck has only granted one in his hmm. whole career, whereas the average is 90% success. So you do the math on that. Yep. But again, I'm not, I'm not worried at all. My, f what are my affiliates? Right? Does Ryan Kavanaugh look like Harvey Weinstein? No, Throst and uh... Oh, no way! They mentioned my affiliates? Yeah. Yes, they do. Klein evidently has two or more Wikipedia editors. If this is journalism, this has to be some level of libel. Evidently? What's the evidence? The evidence is that they were mean to Ryan Kavanaugh on Wikipedia. So <laughs> no, but like must be connected to this. This is why I was saying it's very obvious that Ryan basically wrote this article because who, like, who's in the weeds like that about Throast? He's the like, only one besides nobody, our audience. Yeah. And po well, po Pokey Thirty Five, we don't even ever talk about. Right. That's like real deep cut. They also say that they both spend ninety percent of their time destroying uh, Ryan's Wikipedia <laughs> article. Who who has ninety percent of their time to be on Wikipedia, you know what I mean? Brian. As can well, let's see. As can seen from a simple wiki history search, these individuals spend ninety percent of their time, dude. That that is such an insane statement. 
destroying clients' enemy de jours. Wikipedia page profiles. Oh, so actively destroying all enemies of the show while making positive changes to Klein and H3's profile. But the only, I'll say this, the only enemies pages I have destroyed was on Wikifeed. Mm. And I'm not hiding by, from the truth. Yeah. Very open about that. <laughs> H3 equals free law school from David Whispers. That's right. You're all ready to represent <laughs> your friends and family in court. <laughs> You can view their activity logs on Wikipedia and clearly see that a majority of their activity over the past year has been spent on making defamatory edits to Kavanaugh's Wikipedia page and propping up H3 in the Kleins. Dude, he's, he's demented. <laughs> I love still always going back to how when this all started, Ryan Kavanaugh was like, your toy podcast, you better, you better be careful because you're messing with real things, little boy. And now he's just like obsessed with thrust. <laughs> he's like in so deep. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like I don't even think about him. No. I haven't thought about Kavakov in like months. Right, yeah. And he's obsessed with thrust, me re messaging people on a Shrek forum, talking about, <laughs> I finally found you. <laughs> Oh, oh shit, God. Dude. Whenever this is finally over in like another year or two, like we, we, we have to like spend a whole episode just doing like kind of a summation of the whole saga because there's so many funny details like that that i forgot the shrek thing is so good shrek forum the i shrek finally forum. found you to a you <laughs> again all speculation of course uh, but who else is looking for thrust on a shrek forum <laughs> too much wine sorry uh let's see according to reporters committee for freedom of express in ruling on the motion to strike okay so you're giving me uh legal lessons now the ruling is significant in that it has almost the same effect as a complete case ruling. You idiot. What? That is insanely stupid. Idiot. It has the same ruling as a complete case ruling? Yeah, that's... Like, I, the further it's literally you read the this, opposite the more, of that. it's like, what? This isn't accurate at all. Holy shit. Klein did, in fact, uh, knowingly spread... What happened? Knowingly spread false and misleading statements with the intent to damage or harm Kavanaugh. The ramifications of Klein's actions was amplified by the fact that Klein published the damaging statements to his large following on YouTube. Mm-hmm. He published false statements to millions. You, this is just Kav Kav rage writing. Also, it's not written well. We know Ke Ryan Kavanaugh is not very literate. He then encourages those. Well, he people may be literate. I think it's. <laughs> I think it's the alcohol that's the problem. I think when he's sober, he's probably perfect. Do you literate. think he shakes when he's sober? Oh yeah. From the alcohol oh, yeah. withdrawal. Too much wine. Sorry. <laughs> he then encourages those people to spread the false and misleading statements. Okay, you better watch what you say, bud, because that's the one that you lost. You tried to sue me, saying that I asked people to sp for spread that shit, and you lost, and you had to pay my attorney's fees. Whoever's writing this. You're a loser. Whoever wrote this. I only ever ask people to write a fair and honest review of Triller the app. Do you understand that, bro? Whoever wrote this. Under tort laws that he, he, he sued me for tortious interference and lost. Each and every time it was republished or stated further damage occurred. What are you talking about? You already lost that lawsuit. <laughs> Oh, he goes, leading to potentially one of the most massive dam defamation damages cases ever. Number one, baby. Number one podcast in the world. This could possibly Another record. Dude, this could possibly become one of the most landmark cases of its type since the Hulk Colgan case. Hulk Colgan was awarded $140 million in damages. Wow. That's crazy. You already lost that lawsuit, though. <laughs> Whoever wrote this. Yeah, this is just uh, Kavanaugh who... Oh, and here comes the puff piece. Unfortunately, as Ryan Kavanaugh is a business person, one of the factor lar one of the factors large institutions, banks, and companies asks is what's called reputational risk. Kavanaugh, whom has brokered over two billion deals, Okay, dude, time to stop living in the past, bro. <laughs> you already bankrupted that shit. Let's move on, dude. Where is, uh, where's the, your movie studio now?
some of the largest entertainment transactions could suffer extreme, significant damages caused by Klein's toy podcast. Uh, certain laws exist, blah, blah, blah. Notably for this lawsuit, the judge found the final ruling. Uh, also, then he starts talking about how apparently I am a bully. It's awesome, dude. This is awesome. Talking about how I get strikes on YouTube. Oh, then he cites this website, which is totally not written by the same person. Kevin has, uh, he's called The Ban of Ethan Klein. It's awesome, dude. Look at this fucking... Is this just like a WordPress preset? What is this? <laughs> Prob uh, yeah, it seems like a very cheaply... I, I, if This is pure speculation, <laughs> but I'm thinking... Ryan had been hitting the sauce one evening and was doing his daily check-in on uh, does he look like Harvey Weinstein. And was like, I should do this too, and went on Fiverr or some shit. And, you know, is probably... And, I, I, you know, if you read Bro. through it, there's a lot of, like, grammar mistakes that are very telling that this was an extremely... It looks like a thing. scam website, bro. Yeah. yeah. Are you trying to hard sell me on Ban Ethan? So, you gotta check out the latest signatures on the website. Well, before we do that, okay. I do want to emphasize that if you type Ryan Kavanaugh, because I, I think... I get what he's trying to do. <clears throat> but if you scroll down, actually the second result here... Is does Ryan Kavanaugh look like Harvey Weinstein? Now, if you type his name into Google, and that's important to do, mm -hmm. search and then come click this website, which is number two. He owes me. You'll find that he owes me almost sixty-one thousand. And spend some time brushing up on this. Just spend some time on the website, scrolling, reading. Maybe we have a game at the bottom. It'd be nice to participate in that. Watch some videos. You know what I mean? And uh, just to just to refresh, because frankly, it's I don't want him to be confused for Harvey. That's just not fair to him. It's not fair. It's disgusting that people make that comparison. And I I'm here to basically um, I want to clear his name. This man is not Harvey Weinstein, despite looking just like him. And a lot of life similarities matching up, too, actually, interestingly. So there's that. So let's check out, let's check out his website, or whoever's website, The Ban of Ethan Klein. Prevent all types of abuse, The Ban of Ethan Klein. Sign the petition. Yes. Where's this petition going? Homophobia and racism. See violations. Wait, what's a what? What is a violation of like what's that's a violation? Xenophobia and harassment. I love this. This is great. This is bad. Child abuse exploitation. What the <laughs> fuck did I do? Wait, what? <laughs> Hate speech. You know what? <laughs> With Trish's photo. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I'm really curious. What's the child endangerment uh... one? Homophobia and racism. I, I'll admit to that. Xenophobia, I guess I'll admit to that in the K-pop place. It's harassment, I don't know if I'll... Let's see what's child exploitation. Oh, it just goes to the top of the page. It doesn't do anything. Hmm. Yeah, Cav Cav, if you're... Tr if you... Now, Cav Cav. What is this, like, effect? That's if you're involved in this crazy. website... Whoever's involved in this website, let's say that. Whoever it may be. You're gonna have to do better. I mean, I want to see the violations. It just takes me to the top of the page. <laughs> <laughs> I think it might be broken. At least have the fucking. Also, we right. might be we might be unintentionally uh, DDoSing it right now uh, with all of our fans flooding to it. So, well, I'm trying to help get the message out. We got to ban Ethan Klein. Yeah. And yeah, no, that's true. And I want to sign the petition. How do I see the petition signatures? Go to the bottom. Oh, the bottom of the page. All right. Yep. <laughs> Daniel Keem, Buffalo. <laughs> no shot, bro. That's hilarious. The thirty-first would... signature. Wait, these are all from today. You guys did this. Uh, this is um, this is people coming. Oh, this, this right people now. are fast. Yeah, <laughs> dude, Daniel Game, that's awesome. <laughs> Pay I would your not nanny. Trust putting any sensitive information into this website. It's a WordPress we website. This shit gets easily leaked. Yeah. Okay, just yeah, FYI. that's a good call. Yeah, don't put anything sensitive in there. Oh shit! It, Ryan Kavanaugh might come after you and ask you if you're thrust. <laughs> I'm drunk. Cav Cav's drug dealer. Oh my god. All the way over in Afghanistan. Pay your nanny, Cav Cav, Cav Cav <laughs> drug dealer. I don't know anything about that. 
This is a badly designed website. Throst wiki mod, Vladimir Putin. So this is interesting. Vladimir Putin. Oh, I can't even. I can't even scroll to the next page. Damn. It most likely grabs your IP too. WordPress likes to do that, so <laughs> don't even do goofy ones, to be honest. Oh shit! This one's age restricted. Jobless, ugly, white. Ethan is seriously disturbed and obsessed with race. Sure. I have not seen this video, but uh, for sure, I don't know that I'm obsessed with race. But yeah, okay, that. You're, you're allowed to have your thesis there, for sure. Um. Oh shit! The downfall of H three even link one of these. It's awesome. <laughs> it's just a clip of a bunch of hate videos. Great man. I'm glad you. Put, oh, and this video again. Twice. So that one he put three times. That video. I think it's compelling stuff. Yeah. No, this is solid. The ban of EthanKlein.com is a global petition page. That focuses on the ban of Ethan Klein, online harassment, cyberbullying, gay bashing, mm. and abusive speech against minorities. Only a few of the many reasons to ban. Well, list them all. I mean, right. Those sound pretty bad. I, there's a notable. They missed a really important one. Um, he didn't mention the fact that you're fat, which is really the biggest. My wife is ugly, and that Ela is very ugly. As the those are the biggest defenses. Yeah, if he mentioned that, this thing would be stacked with signatures. <laughs> I don't know where the signatures go or for who they are. Yeah, but they're there. Individuals and groups from all over the world may start campaigns, rally, support, and collaborate to get Ethan banned from social media. This is nice. It's a worldwide movement. <laughs> <laughs> the ban of EthanGlein.com allows you to sign several online petitions. Oh. Those are the, okay. There seemed to only be one, but... To support the ban of Ethan Klein, by harnessing the collective effort of the online community, we can evoke change and induce the social networks. That's awesome. The social networks. The Ethan Klein ban is a non-profit movement. Bro, stop. This is a non-profit? They're doing it for the love of the game, baby. Does that mean you're taking donations? What does that mean? <laughs> the Ryan Kavanaugh Fund, a.k.a. the ban Ethan Klein dot com movement. The website was registered on uh, February, February 21. Year. Was that line up with anything interesting, love? Uh, not sure. I'm trying to find out more information about the website and the hosting and stuff. We probably launched our website around that time. Maybe this was a direct tit for tat that he tried to do. Could be, yeah. I'm smart. Our, uh, wh whoever made this website, let's be clear. We don't know that Ryan is behind this. Yeah, we don't. Although, if you consider the amount of people who would make this website, there's really only one. Mm -hmm. Even Keemstar is not dumb enough to make this shit. <laughs> like, Keemstar is not that dumb, actually. It's not that bad. And and I'm not trying to compliment him by saying that. He is extraordinarily dumb. Very, very dumb 16 person, is yeah. the age of consent. But Ryan Kavanaugh is like boomer dumb. This man, mm -hmm. he's like drive drunk and hit a police car dumb. Um... <laughs> I an inappropriate know. relationship with a 14-year-old. He's, he, he's, I want to have an inappropriate relationship with a 14-year-old Natalie Portman, dumb. Mm -hmm. If you are harassed by Ethan Klein, you can sign our online petition for the ban. For support, hotlines, and help. Oh, God, we need an Ethan Klein harassment hotline. Please click here. It doesn't work. Not clickable. We hope to supply a useful tool for signing an online petition against Ethan Klein and his negative influence on children and young people. What the fuck did I do? Why you gotta invoke children? The ban of Ethan Klein was established in response to an increase in online abuse and harassment of children and young people. What the fuck? Platform is dedicated to raise awareness and advocate positive change. Yeah, yada yada yada. Then he just links a bunch of hate videos. Ian Slater? Hey, Ian, come on. Don't put your name down there. <laughs> Ryan Kavanaugh's a stupid punk ass bitch. <laughs> that was not you for the record, right, Ian? My hands are tied. You're busy. You're yeah, literally busy guy. pitching the show. He's a busy guy. Although we don't see his tail. I'm just saying. Let's see the tail, Ian. Hands up, tail up. Yeah, you're good. Yeah, it looks clean. He's clean. Lick my balls. Hi, Ethan. Saggy tits McGee. <laughs>
Where's my mom? I'm lost. Ryan owes Ethan 61K. <laughs> so, you know, this is cool. This is cool. I appreciate the... The thing is, though, this website is really compelling in that very factual. So it, cool. This one's very factual. So much so that this guy's suing me for defamation and they, nothing on this website even that I wrote here was even challenged. Isn't that interesting? This website has been vetted, tested, and that's all I'll say about it. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, so, you know, we haven't talked about Ryan Cab Cab in a while, so it's nice to just touch in and say hello to this beautiful mug. Before we move on, I did want to just mention one last thing that um, last night when I found this, I looked up the author of that article. Yes. And wouldn't you know it, <laughs> Uh, I very quickly <coughs> discovered that he is a PR writer oh who God. other work on uh, that same website seems to mostly consist of um, puff pieces for like medium level employees of random tech companies, Why almost they, like they're uh, maybe trying to boost up their resume and online presence a little bit. Not saying it's not genuine, but it is interesting that he's the author. Same author, yeah. He's not a journalist, for example. It seemed, I, it, I don't want to question his credibility necessarily. Well, he's a he's freelance a writer. But he does seem like a total fucking hack loser who does puff pieces for money. Why does it lie? That's, uh, that's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. Well, this is him. What's Muckrack? Is that... I, I guess it's a website where it's, it's for PR stuff like Muckrack, your new standard in public relations software. Easily search for journalists, modern news, build reports. So he has a profile on here, um, which kind of means that, I don't know if he is even a real person. It might just be a fake person, oh, and this is like an AI written article from a bunch of info that Ryan provided to this company. That seems Possibly. like it'd be more expensive than just hiring some Maybe. dude in India to write it, Yeah, which is what I think he did. It could be that too, and, and either way, I, I'm a little suspicious of if uh, Dave Thomas, the uh, Wendy's guy, is actually this <laughs> <laughs> involved in. Yo, I haven't had Wendy's in a minute, though. Yeah, so, um, he's actually a prolific writer. I resent what you said. David Thompson has written for Wiley, Online Library, Tech Times, K-Pop Stars, Helio. Oh, that's why he's after you. Yaka Ima, Herald <laughs> Republic, Times Colonist, Nature, World News. <laughs> headlines in Global News, Latin Post, and more. Wait, this guy just posted, what the fuck? He posted three articles in the last hour. Yeah, and look, like, like I said before, possible? the ones from last night that I was finding were the same kind of thing. That, that top one, Sasi Kumar Raju, expertise in master data management, boost organ, like this is like Whoa, some like, hold on, hold on. company. In the last hour, there's been one, two, three, four, Five, six articles by this guy. I'm telling you, I think it might be a computer. Six articles in an hour? I smell a Pulitzer Prize winner right here. <laughs> <laughs> a Peabody. A Peabody in investigating. Why is Cav Cap, and I'm speculating that it's him, he's so dumb. He literally is so incompetent. Yeah, I know. He can't even put together like a hit website. Dumb. Of course everything dumb. you touch turns to shit, bro. You literally would be a fucking, you would be a valet, no offense to the valet people, I've said a great job. What's they make good tips? Yeah, I don't want to. How do position. I? How, what Trusted would he be doing if his cards? daddy, if he wasn't a total nepo baby? Uh, Ryan Kavanaugh? Yeah. Um, it would be he'd be like the dude to uncut gems, just hustle right. to hustle. That's too good for him. He, nah, his energy. Not. He gives me assistant manager at a restaurant. Energy. Thank you. He gives me. Uh, Thank you. He gives me like the 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 evening shift mm -hmm. that none of the other managers mm -hmm. want to take. Maybe we can just say he, he'd be a, a security guard or a cop, so that because we don't like them already. Thank you. I don't think he's security tough, though. Security guard lives matter, dude. We respect security guards in this office. I don't think he's tough. <laughs> <laughs> the security guards are dope. But, like, do you see how incompetent you are, bro? It's insane. Like, it's not that hard to put together a website competently. You have money. Why would you do it in such a stupid, cheap way where you got a fucking... AI author who's writing eight articles an hour. 
What are you doing, dude? <laughs> understanding. You have to think about it, dude. Dude, understanding damages in personal injury cases, an app to earn in the gig economy, three digital platforms to become a millionaire. These are all in the past hour. The greedy machines NFT on Binance. The best tools for online trading on Linux. Fast, dude. He's so good. Eight. He's so all good. in the last hour. He's pumping these out. Yeah, I think it's either an AI thing or that's just a moniker that, like, like you said, you know, a bunch of people in the Philippines are all writing these articles and then they just publish it under Dave Thomas. Or but whatever. what's the advantage? Because if you go here, he's clearly not real. Like, it's so blatantly... Because I think it's all just, like, SEO shit. Like, like most of those articles are just, again, like, some middle manager at a tech company that is looking for a new job, and he wants, when people Google his name, some article to come up that seems complimentary of him. Yeah, I guess. Oh, I want to thank... Um, what does this mean? Nick Clark, thank you for the dono so much. You said, please drop the Suki diss track. What does that mean? Oh, that was, the, the that was the winner of the oh, CapCap cap competition. It. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, Good call, cute. Nick. Yeah, fuck yeah. Should do that, and then we should do uh, our ads, because we're already about 10 minutes past the time anyway. Wait, what did you, what's, who's, how did you find this, love? James, who's James Rogers? <laughs> I don't know, I think it's like a default website, or page, from the, <laughs> Dude, how from do the you template. Do Who the, <laughs> 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 what the fuck, it has a watermark on it. <laughs> James Rogers volunteer. <laughs> Lorem Ipsum. Oh, yeah, that's just like the deep. <laughs> yeah. And here's the privacy policy on the, on the website. Dude, why are you so stupid, bro? Oh, wow. Oh, here's the privacy policy. Let's see. Hey, bro, you ever heard of this Ryan Kavanaugh, and dude? It's Ooh. funny because when you Kavanaugh. store user so data like that in that poll or that, uh, what's it called? Yeah, yeah. When people send in their information, like that adds like a bunch of shit, like legally. This website is not up to date to like GDPR, so they would get, could get sued for this, like in in Europe and shit. Oh, this does not follow any GDPR uh, guidelines. Hmm. You should copy paste this. They for sure just copy pasted it from a website. Like, I wonder where they got it. So you, you in WordPress, there's these templates okay. that you just click one click and you get all these. I gotcha. see. Yeah. Awesome. All right, oh. drop that song. Yeah, let's hear it. Let's let's party. Hey, bro. This is my arch nemesis, James Rogers. Ryan Kavanaugh, CEO the founder of. I'm gonna need all the Navi on the dance floor right now, please. All the Navi, yeah, yeah. please stand up. And did you also know Serious. that he had a nanny, and he got sued by that nanny because he didn't pay her, and he also tried to frame one of his employees of sexual harassment so he wouldn't have to pay a severance, allegedly. Get, Ryan come behind me, everybody. Shredder, 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 chill. Shredder, shredder, chill. I've never seen him like that. He's feeling better. We gon' keep on winning cases, ain't no. Sympathy for foes, we gon' pop you like a sodi. I ain't talking diet code, babe. Nation what we rep it, we gon' always want to Can you get a face of cap cap kind of his name is Brad the Transparent you pay my money back. I better have that shit in full. I just beat another op and now I'm moving to the next. I ain't never gonna stop. Each new pot, we the best. And shout out to the people that be jealous cause they hate us. Shout out Keem Star, Matt Sam's Hoss, brave. Nah, never mind. I ain't even gonna say that. Least in all these haters, cause I always get the payback. Hey bro. Do me a favor real quick. And, and Dude, you guys look laptop. scary. <laughs> Someone should get like close to the camera and smile. And it looks so creepy. Uh, yeah. It's not you, Dan, because you have a beard. It's got to be like Lena. Yeah, let's see your I mouth. Two of the right in front. <laughs> oh my god, get close to the camera. Yeah, it looks really creepy. <laughs> Dude, that looks crazy. What? I thought was a flashback. Boy, you really cringy. I think I need me a hat. That's my demon, bro. That's my. Curse is shit. That's your trash as hell. Boy, your shit is all flipped. And I ain't talking heads and tails. When it comes to throws, I do Yes, yes. Ryan Kavanaugh, my friend. Also, shout out to, um, I don't know now, it's not James Rogers, who who wrote that article? Dave Thomas. Yeah, so he wrote 1,013 articles, so <laughs> he's a prolific writer. And just so knowledgeable about so much so stuff. Everything? Yeah, yeah, he's got a lot of knowledge. By the way, put that on the company card, obviously, Sam. Okay. King.
Let's Are you go. sure you can afford it? You're going to owe Ryan Kavanaugh like 700 Better to spend it now. Million dollars. Spend it before he can get it. Right. True. True. I'll see you in bankruptcy court. <laughs> <laughs> I'll pay you when you pay me. <laughs>